First of all, get a reference image or video. References make everything easier, from the colors and sounds to the actual shape of the environment. Mine are these three images from the movie, The Last Samurai. Next, determine the simple visual core of the scene you want to make. If we look back at those references, what stands out to me are the colors bathing the environment, green and orange respectively, and the grass. After that, we'll add those simple core elements. I'll go with the orange scheme for now. I found this nice free skybox set on itch.io and slapped it into a world environment node as the sky. If you can't find one that is the right color for your scene, you can try downloading one of these and recoloring it in a program like GIMP or Photoshop. The sky is looking good, but I think we need more orange. We'll add a directional light that will be the sun and color that light a warm orange. Don't forget to turn on shadows and tilt it to the sun position that makes sense, which in this case is sunset. For the ground texture, I found a nice free grass texture, darkened it, applied it to the ground, and enabled triplanar mapping so it would stretch and repeat correctly. As for the grass, I could do some custom multi-mesh stuff to create my own grass, but why reinvent the wheel? There are some great grass add-ons in the Godot asset library that make it easy. I used a grass texture from Kenny's Plants and recolored it in GIMP. When we paint it in, the orange directional light does a lot of work to make the colors cohesive. The grass also comes with a built-in wind system, which is just great for making everything look higher quality. In my opinion, this is a good core already. Now we just need to fill in the blanks and make it interesting, which is open to our creativity. Here I'll deviate from the reference, and that's okay since I've captured the core of what I wanted. Let's add a sun at the right location for sunset. I did this by downloading a sun texture from Open Game Art, putting it on a sprite 3D node with billboard enabled so it's always facing the camera, and then positioned it in the world so it looked right. Easy peasy. Next, I added this fence line around the location, which again are just free 3D models from Open Game Art or itch.io. We'll add some trees, and I experimented with the color of the leaves and settled on pink. You could also make a color palette out of your reference images if you really wanted to be particular about which colors you're using. Next, we add some rocks. Vary their scale, number, position, and rotation, and you'll have yourself a more interesting place to walk around in. For the sounds, just think about what makes sense. We're outside in nature, so some nature sounds of bugs and birds, and the wind is blowing through our grass, so we'll need some wind sounds too. I like to get these sounds from Pixabay and Open Game Art, and there we have it. But that's not all. Once you've constructed a scene like this, you can create whole new scenes just by changing the lighting. I turned this into a dark and stormy night, very simply. I changed the skybox, placed the sun with the moon, and changed the color of the light from orange to white, as well as turning down its power. I added a stormy ambient sound with wind and lightning, and removed the trees because it didn't make much sense for them to not be shaking in the strong wind. For the lightning, I just added a few bright lights that would flicker on and off at semi-random intervals with a script. And finally, I created a GPU rain particle emitter based on a tutorial I found, and we're good to go. I've added links to all the resources and tutorials I used in the description. If you found the video helpful or interesting for your own projects, please consider liking or subscribing. Thanks.